There's a multitude of ways to discover Mazatlan. Today we're going to do it the fun way on the fun bus, followed by an art history walking tour. Let's have some fun. To start first, here on your right we have the Disco Valentinos, one of the largest disco here on Mazatlan. The most unique about this beautiful um, disco is sited on the top of the natural rock. One nice thing I can hear about Mazatlan, the Malecon, we are the largest one on the whole entire world. We're about 13 miles long and it's about 21 kilometers. This is one of the great sports that we do here on Mazatlan, which is fishing. On the other side, we have the beautiful lady and representation of the beautiful woman of Mazatlan as well too. All these guys, early in the morning, five, six o'clock in the morning, they go straight up to the islands, they do some fishing, they come over here, they get your fish, clean it up, skillet, it, and sell it to you by the pound. Coming up next, there's a nice monument right here, a continuation of life, and as well here in Maslan, you can see a lot of dolphins early in the morning. This monument has about 25 feet high, and then the guy has to jump forward about four or five feet forward because he has the rocky land and then he only have about five feet. Once he hits the ground, he has to curl back up because everything on the ground is nice and rocky. He made it. <laughs> Lewis, I like your town. Well, thank you very much. Welcome. Thanks for the tour. Now, you're a local guy. I'm a local guy, exactly. But you moved away. I sure did. And you came back. What brought you back? My family. There's lots of beautiful, beautiful statues along the Malacan. What are some of your favorites? My favorite one is had to be uh, the continuation of life. And I guess the, the harmony about this sculpture is, is unique. It's awesome. Because it resembles Maslan, the whole continuation of life, and always together as a family. It doesn't matter where you go, you always have to do it together. Well, that bus ride was fun. Now for some art and history. Uh, welcome to Mazatlan. This is our art museum, and across the street is our archaeological museum. Vamanos, let's go see some art. Welcome to my studio. I'm Glenn Rogers. In addition to my painting and my printmaking, I teach workshops here. Monotype is a one-of-a-kind uh, printing process where you're basically painting on a piece of plexiglass. Now this is just black and white, but then you can go through it and add more colors, more layers, more information. Glenn, obviously you're kind of a mover and shaker in the art scene here. Where do you see it going? I, see, I feel like it's just ready to kind of explode. Yeah. Like I really kind of feel something happening. Yeah. Well, you know, with the Art Walk, um, it's created a lot of interest in art and the artists. And more and more artists are moving in because they're realizing, hey, this is a nice little artist haven we've got going. In 1845, a little girl was born in Mexico City. As she got older and started to sing, she, people realized, boy, she's got a beautiful voice. She traveled all over Europe and became so famous, she was known as the Mexican Nightingale. Julian Montiel, he was her manager for many years, so he started thinking, you know, I, she's got all this wealth, she doesn't have any children, and I better, we'll get married. Uh, they did a wedding uh, ceremony up in her room with some witnesses. <laughs> and when it came time to say I do, she was dead. Oh. <laughs> and they thought, oh, what if somebody finds out we have to do this again? So they talked about it. Someone went behind the head of the bed and, do you take this man? And they took her head and went, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, hey, you can't dispute that. She said yes, and he got everything. Sheila, something tells me that we barely scratch the surface of your knowledge. I believe that well, something that's telling you that is true because there's <laughs> just so much to see and do here. Mm -hmm. 